About, oh, thank you very much. About uh, three weeks ago, or a month ago, a buddy and I was here, and I don't think my buddy's ever been here before. We were sitting in this exact same booth, and upon walking through the doors, I noticed over in those booths over there, there were the two most beautiful women I've ever seen inside the Hesville Family <laughs> Restaurant. So I was immediately just like, you know, wow, like, this is strange. And there were these two girls just sitting in a booth over there, and there was like these two pencil neck geeks sitting in a booth behind them. So my buddy and I are sitting here and just kind of like, you know, I have to say, these are the hottest women I've ever seen here at the Bama. Like, this is, this is crazy. And I'm thinking like, you know what? We have to almost say something. Like, perhaps, hey, go to YouTube, and if you like this place, go check out a Bama run or something like that. <laughs> You know, the, the gears were in motion, trying to figure out some kind of icebreaker. Because it was like, hey, they're just, sit they're just sitting there. So they were yapping about something, and uh, vegetarian lasagna comes up. I was kind of like sitting here thinking, vegetarian lasagna? And then before you know it, one of the pencil neck geeks is like, hey, did you say vegetarian lasagna? And I was just like, <laughs> motherfuckers. Motherfucker. I know, I know where this is going, you know. Jeez Louise, I know what's happening now. So, you know, then, then they're doing like the whole like turning over, like talking the whole time, and it's just like, God, where was I going? Like, vegetable lasagna, huh? You know, it's just, but it was Have just. Were you eavesdropping though? Well, you know, I wouldn't call eavesdropping. <laughs> eavesdropping. <laughs> We're eavesdropping over here. I wouldn't call eavesdropping people over in that section talking loud enough to hear it, you know? It's not like I was like, He's dropping. He's dropping. But uh, um, I was, I was. Is that you say when you? <laughs> yeah. Shh, yeah. Shh, I'm eavesdropping. <laughs> but uh, um, I, I was just really perturbed because it was like, wow, these guys, you know, who've probably never been here before, are here at the Bama, making a jack move like that. I just didn't appreciate it. So I was sitting here and uh, and just didn't even bother looking over the rest of the night. Just kind of like sitting here. Prick. I've definitely uh, labeled people as douchebags without really having any particular reason. Just, just a feeling I get. But everybody's a douchebag from time to time, I think. But as you're saying, it depends on. Uh, it's more is. It's more that their functioning in your life brings with it douchebaggery. And, uh, but also I agree with Mark that no, everybody is not a douchebag until, unless they prove themselves otherwise. You know what, I'm not saying that everyone's a douchebag until proven non-douchey. I'm just saying, as someone who's single, trying to find that special someone, I just feel that, you know, someone just to steal a move. Now granted, I'm not obligated or set in stone any particular type of, oh, I'm owed this this interaction or breaking the ice, but uh, we're at the Bama. Come on, I, I should have been in a, a top mode to go over there and do something, and I, I feel like I let myself down, and those guys seized the moment, so that's a douchebag to me. Even though they probably got something out of it, and I didn't, and more power to them, I still feel like that's douchey. Are you sure you're not projecting that you felt like a douche for not yeah, exactly. doing what they did in time? Well, I just feel that it's douchey, the whole bringing up the whole vegetarian lasagna. Like, did you say vegetarian lasagna? It, that's a douche move. You know, you could have picked anything that they talked about that was way different than that, and that would have been less douchebag to me. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's but, not a good icebreaker. Yeah, it was just the whole, like, did you say vegetarian lasagna? It's full, like, hey, uh, do you guys mind if we sit here? So, <laughs> just, hey, that, that's cool, you know. You know. They were sitting so close together, it was bound to happen anyways, but whether or not they'll be back, I don't know, but as a single guy, I just feel, you know, when I'm thwarted or if I'm interested in a chick and I find out that she has a boyfriend, it's a douchebag to me, because I almost feel like, once again, I'm not obligated to having a connection, but I'd like to have a connection. If someone else has a connection and I feel like, hey, maybe I could have a more special connection, douchebag. Rod? Yes? Is this your dating video? No. <laughs>